Welcome back. Domestic abuse does not discriminate. It can happen to anyone. If you, a friend, or a loved one seeks the path to safety, you can find it through the Shelter for Abused Women and Children. Gisa Infante is an advocate for their transitional housing program. She joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. So let's talk about this, the Shelter's transi uh, transitional housing program, because this is a little different, I think, than the emergency shelter program, That's which right. people might assume that is, you know, the first thing that, that happens. So That's kind right. of explain what that is, the transitional housing program. So our transitional housing program is a two-year program mm -hmm. that's based around a supportive housing model okay. for survivors of domestic violence and their children. Um, you guys, I'd imagine, saw that there was a need for this, that, yeah, once there was the emergency, you know, kind of first step of it, there's got to be a plan for action, right? That's right. So whereas our emergency shelter is just that, it's a shelter in immediate crisis for mm -hmm. those survivors who are in immediate danger, the transitional housing offers more long-term supportive services past the crisis stabilization yeah. phase. So what is that long-term goal, you know, for families when you guys are, are, you know, trying to figure out which families you're able to help? I mean, what is the long-term goal? The long-term goal is to be able to secure permanent housing for these families. A lot of these families are experiencing homelessness due to financial abuse or domestic violence, mm -hmm. and so we want to give them supportive services during those two years to kind of combat those mm -hmm. barriers to maintaining housing stability. Well, and I imagine, talk about the, the, the face of domestic violence and, and these victims that you're able to help. I know a lot of them have children, which I would imagine would be one of the reasons why they're staying in the relationships they are. That's right. Because um, yeah. they're worried about kind of their future and where they're going to live and stay, those basic needs, right? Exactly. And so the transitional housing program definitely addresses mm -hmm. that barrier. So who, um, you know, when you look at the requirements and who, who you are able to help with the actual transitioning housing part of it, how do you decide who you're able to help? Well, any survivor of domestic violence who is currently experiencing homelessness is eligible for the program, and advocates are really identifying those residents in shelter who mm -hmm. have the most barriers to obtaining housing, whether that be credit issues due to the financial abuse mm -hmm. or whatever that might be. The, those are the ones that we are trying to outreach. Mm -hmm. Well, um, you know, if anyone is watching this morning and maybe going through this themselves, maybe they mm -hmm. have a, a loved one that is going through this, what's your, you know, what's your take home for them? What do you want them to know? this morning is to just be there to support them and give mm -hmm. them the referral to the shelter that that is what you should do to be mm -hmm. able to to get them the help they need I think a lot of us sometimes think oh you know maybe we're naive to think that it's not happening in our community um, but I think our children are going to school with other people's children who are, are living this and unfortunately this is a big part of our community that Absolutely. we are going to have to face at some point right yes so Yes, and the shelter offers many services to help address that, whether it's in the schools or all of our programs. Mm -hmm. So again, if someone is watching this morning, what's the best thing? Should they call? Should they go to their website? It, maybe someone's watching, they're afraid to reach out. Yes, our 24-hour crisis line is, mm -hmm. is 239-775-1101, and our website is www.naplesshelter.org. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, well, Gisa, thank you so much thank for all so that much. you do, and uh, we certainly appreciate what you're able to offer here in Southwest Florida. I, I hope people take advantage thank of you. this. Thank you. We'll send it over to staff. Up next, one of the most important things you can do to prepare for your future, how you can retire with confidence next.